Hello guys, and in today's lesson we are going to start a new chapter, uh, Inverse Functions. This is a new concept for pupils in grade 12. So before we start with Inverse Functions, let us define what a function is. So a function is a rule or an equation linking x and y so that every x value has one value in y. And in grade 10 and 11 we have learned about the straight line function. We learned the parabola. We have learned the exponential function. And we have learned the hyperbolic function. So how we test graphically when it's a function is we do the straight line test. So if this is the x-axis, that's the y-axis, then if I go vertically, I can see that the, the ruler only goes through the function once. All of these, it's only touching the function at one place, never at two places at the same time. So, for example, if I take a circle and I do the vertical line test, then I would see that it's touching the vertical line at two places. Therefore, the equation of a circle is not a function. Another one, if I take the parabola and I tilt it on its side, then I can see that that's also not a function because the vertical line test is not satisfied and it's touching at two places. So for this x value has two values in y. So these are non-functions. And these are functions. <clears throat> Another concept that we learned in grade 10 and 11 was the concept of domain and range. So the domain was the set of x values of a function, all the possible values of x in that function, and the range was the set of y values of a function. So all the possible values of y for that specific rule. Now that we have identified what a function is, we can move on to the inverse function. The basic definition of an inverse function is the domain, so all the x values, becomes the range. And the range, all the y values, becomes the domain. If we think of it in terms of coordinates, the x value becomes the y value, and the y value becomes the x value. So the x and y values swap. They change positions. The notation that we use is the function to the power of negative 1. That's the way we write it of fx. And the, this is the notation for the inverse function. This is not uh, 1 over fx. This is not the same thing. It's important. This is simply the notation that we use to show the inverse function. So let's go through the steps on how to find the inverse function. We're not going to do it graphically today. We're just going to learn how to find the equation or the rule of the inverse function. The first step is to replace fx with y. So we replace 
the notation of fx with a y. The second step is we are going to swap x and y. Then we are going to solve y in terms of x. And then as we started, we do it again. Now we do it in reverse. We replace y with the inverse function notation. So to go through it again, the first step, replace fx with y, swap the x and y's positions, solve y in terms of x, and then replace y with the inverse function notation. So in the following examples, we would determine the inverse function of the given equations. So here we are given the equation fx is equals to 2x plus 1. So step 1, replace fx with y. So I replaced fx with y. Step 2, swap x and y's positions. So now I have swapped x and y, literally just write x in the place of y and y in the place of x. Then solve y in terms of x. So I bring the 1 over. And then I divide by 2. Now this is the inverse function of the equation. So the last step was rewrite y. So therefore, the inverse function is equals to x minus 1 over 2. As simple as that. In our second example, we have fx is equals to 3x squared. So the first step is replace fx with y. Second step is swap x and y. So I write x in the place of y and y in the place of x. Then solve y in terms of x. So I divide by 3. And then I take the square root on both sides. But remember, a square root can yield the same answer using positive and negative values. The last step is rewrite y as the inverse of the function. Notice that even though we have an equation for the inverse of that uh, parabola, this result, the inverse function, is not a function. To show you graphically, this would be rough, a rough sketch of the function. But the inverse of the function, if I were to sketch it, would look like that. It's a parabola on its side. And if I do the vertical line test, it cuts through at two places, meaning that value of x will have two values in y. Therefore, it is not a function.